The biggest lie business owners and employees are told is that the customer is always right. Not only is this a blatant lie, it also sets employees up for failure, which in turn can set your business up for failure. The phrase, the customer is always right, was popularized back in the 1900s. And I think that's exactly where it should have stayed. Don't get me wrong, I truly believe in exceptional customer service and customer obsession. However, not at the expense of demoralizing your employees or disregarding established company policies. It's crucial to foster an environment where both employees and customers are treated with respect and where adherence to company standards is upheld to maintain integrity and the sustainability of your business's operations. Telling your employees that the customer is always right when they're actually wrong can be a very slippery slope. I had a customer come in, she enjoyed her service, however she had a gift card that had a zero balance on it. She requested a refund and she threatened to write a bad review if we did not honor this refund. Now with that, the customer is always right mindset, you'd be inclined to give this customer the refund. While the customer is always right mindset would have prompted a refund, it's not sustainable if it leads to a pattern of unpaid services. Empowering employees to handle such issues in your absence is crucial in maintaining consistency and the integrity of your business's operations. Without a doubt, online reviews can be a lifeline for small businesses, helping them gain visibility and credibility in the market. However, it's essential not to let the fear of a potential bad review cloud your judgment and compromise your business's integrity. While negative reviews can sting, they are an inevitable part of operating in today's digital landscape. It's crucial to remember that one negative review does not define your entire business. Ultimately, customers who genuinely value your business will respect your integrity and appreciate your dedication to maintaining high standards. So while online reviews are important, they should never dictate the decisions that's gonna make you compromise the integrity or sustainability of your businesses. In instances where feedback is negative, approach it with openness and willingness to address the concern. Avoid being defensive. Recognize that not all customers will have a positive experience at your business. In instances where feedback is negative, approach it with openness and a willingness to address the concern. Avoid being defensive. Recognize that not all customers are gonna have a positive experience. Instead, focus on understanding the issue and taking corrective. By being transparent and publicly addressing concerns, you provide future customers with clear information to make informed decisions. This proactive approach not only demonstrates your commitment to excellence, but also fosters trust and credibility with your customer base. Building a successful business with positive online ratings is an ongoing endeavor that demands commitment to customer satisfaction, proactive reputation management, and employee engagement. By prioritizing both customers and employee satisfaction, you create a thriving working environment where employees are motivated and deliver exceptional customer service. While prioritizing customer satisfaction is vital for business success, you should recognize that the old saying, the customer is always right, has its limitations. By balancing customer needs and business integrity and fair policies while also prioritizing the satisfaction and empowerment of your employees, you can build a resilient and prosperous business that stands the test of time. I'd be interested to learn how you guys are dealing with customer issues in your business. Until next time.